Deep in the rain-soaked hills of Meghalaya, a tiny amphibian has revealed a survival strategy unlike any other. Unlike most frogs that lay eggs in water, a Curie Australus naso, a high-altitude species found in Monsoon Rock, buries its eggs in soil and waits for the monsoon rains to trigger hatching. A study published in Current Science has shed light on this extraordinary adaptation, challenging traditional understandings of amphibian reproduction. With the research conducted by experts from St. Edmund's College, Shillong, Neho, and Utkal University, highlights a breeding process uniquely synchronized with Meghalaya's unpredictable monsoon cycle. What sets K. Naso apart is its delayed hatching mechanism. Unlike most amphibian eggs that hatch within days, these remain dormant until torrential rain floods the burrows. When they finally emerge, the tadpoles are already at an advanced developmental stage, having absorbed their gills before touching water. Well, this adaptation ensures their survival in a region where water availability fluctuates dramatically. Given its extreme dependence on seasonal rainfall, K. Naso could serve as an indicator of species for ships in Meghalaya's monsoon patterns. Preserving its breeding habitats in the damp forest floor will be critical to ensuring its survival in an era of changing climate. Most of the frogs when they hatch, meaning they came out from that egg jelly capsule, they hatched at a stage which um, uh, the gills will appear while the larvae are in the water medium. But this particular frog, I found that the stage in which it developed, the, lar the, the, the embryo, it, uh, the gills, it possessed the gills while inside the egg jelly capsule. And interestingly, we found that these gills regress prior the hatching of the eggs. So normally the gills are meant for aquatic respiration, right? But then uh, now the big question which came into my mind, if the gills are normally meant for the aquatic organisms to breathe in the aquatic medium, then what, why, what is happening with Kurisales naso? Because the gills it already regressed before it hatched and even before it touches the water. So what is then the function of the gills? That is a big question. So this may open uh, up avenues and research platforms for others to take this account into consideration.